What's up YouTube? It's Torhan bringing you a redstone tutorial video and today we're going to be making a 2x2 two two piston door with a hidden switch on the outside and this will be... I don't know if you guys have seen this before or not but hopefully not but here we go let's get started. So first off we need to put our pistons down So let me make it, you need four this way, one this way, two space, repeat the same thing again, your door block, and then on the back side, so you need to pick which side you want your button to be on, uh, if you want it to be on the left or the right. So I'm going to do mine on the right. So this needs to be one longer. These piston, the these ones next to the next to the sticky pistons need to be set to four, and then bring your redstone down. On this side, do the same thing, but you only need to do two pistons. This way, what happens is basically is this side you press the button. So you want another second longer delay so it can get over here so that they kind of open at the same time. And that's why you have the, the, the lack of the second pistons here. If you wanted to, you could make it look the same by adding an extra tick to this and adding in two more pistons here. I mean, but you don't need it. Basically, you could do this. And then over here, you can basically go one, two, there you go. Now they're still the same, but they're the exact same width, so it might be easier to hide. I don't know. Uh, so now you want to dig down. And in the middle here. All right, so you're going to want to put a torch here. Down there. Here. And then you want to do two blocks. On the opposite side of these blocks, you want to do two torches because these torches are basically going to trigger these pistons when the doors close. And you want to do the same thing over here. There. Now we need to skip over. We'll need this later, so I'm just going to dig it out now. All right, what we need to do now are these doors. So do six blocks starting from the middle above where they're going to close. And two pistons, or two uh, repeaters. Your uh, redstone dust. And like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And then you run your wire down. And you run your wire down. And then over here. You're going to run your wire down again. Since the doorway is going to be on the other side, we put a piston down the middle here. And we connect it. And now, if we drop a torch down, it closed. And now, if we remove the torch, as long as we did everything properly, there we go. They open up. So that's the basics, the mechanics of the door. You basically have the six pistons on this side, six pistons here, the repeaters, your repeaters, and then going down. The biggest issue I've ever run into basically is when I forget to set the repeaters. 
If I don't set the timing on them right, then the doors don't open and close properly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our... Um, we're going to come over here and we're going to make our... our hidden opening, our hidden button. Essentially, it's basically just a hopper. Oh, one more. Okay. So for this, we do this. Like that. Um, we do need a track and a Minecraft hopper. That's just a thing for me to stand on for a second. There. So now we need to get our block back. Now that that's like that, we want to put a comparator here. And the comparator is going to send signal to our sticky piston, actually, which goes like this. And that goes like that. Give us a little more room here. And then we have another one. This one's going to be not a comparator, but a repeater. Repeater is going to go into that, which goes into this. And then here, we need to do two hoppers that go into each other, like so. And then from the two hoppers, we need to do our timer, which essentially is going to be this. Like this. Okay. And then this is going to have to run to this over here. So basically, in order to hide it, We do it like this, just to make sure the signal gets there, like that. Oh wait, actually we don't need that, we need to do this. We need to do an inverted signal, so the doors remain closed by default, and then they open when we throw something on the hopper. And then... This, I do this just so I can test it. Alright, and then in the hopper we need to put our blocks that we use. Basically, however many number of blocks you put in the hopper, is how long, and it takes about a second, so it's about 32 seconds that the door is going to stay open. And that's all it is for, the, for this. So now we come up here. And if we did everything proper, come on, we should, there we go, boom, and the door's open. And as you can see, the comparator's running, it's almost done transferring, and now that it's in transferring, it shuts off. Oh, that's not good. So to keep that from happening, we do this. And that way the cart never comes off, but it'll still work. Voila! You don't need that one there.
So essentially, and then you go through here, and what we'll do on this side is we'll run Oh, uh, let's give us a little light down here. So the key is this block here. So in order to... to Alright, so we need to go underneath this. Oh, and I broke it. Looks like my daylight sensor. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we want to come over here. All right. So say we had a wall that came out from the door. And this wall had a button. Well, we want to be able to come up from here and get to said button. Down, 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 down. Just to make sure it reaches. And like that. Now, we should be able to come up over here. Oh, didn't do it. Got to make sure we're in the right spot. Ah, oh, that's why we weren't up high enough. we got to come up a little bit more. Now if we put that there, put that there, and we come back out here. There you go. And that's how you do your button on the inside of your place so you can get out. Technically, if you didn't want to make it so you have the hopper to open it, you could run a line from here. Run a line basically along this block up. And you can run it from here to a button. And it would work just the same. But who wants to do that? The hidden button, the hidden option is more, much more, uh, much cooler. At least in my opinion. But that's the that's that's basically how you make the door. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, there's your red, red, your basic layout again. So there's your basic layout. Your redstone, your door, and then down here, your inverter to keep the doors closed. Down to another inverter torch. These two are you basically make up your timer. And then this triggers your timer. It's a block updater, which gets updated every time an item passes through the hopper into the chest and the comparator goes off. So pretty straightforward. Um, let me show you guys this in my single player Let's Play. I actually have a working door like this uh, hidden, and uh, it, I think it's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and uh, I'll be back with you guys momentarily, and I'll show you guys that door, and then we'll call this a good episode. All right, everybody, and here's my uh, single-player Let's Play world. And I have a hidden door around here somewhere. It's right here. Same exact setup as what I just showed you guys. Um, buried out here. 
You can see here's my same setup with that. There's the two torches that power the bottom pistons. There's that. My timer. I do actually have one thing that I didn't do in the other, and that's an override switch, which is here. It's basically just a lever that sends power directly to the same uh, block that we use for the um, inverted torch. That's it. Really simple. Really easy to do. But yeah, you guys, that's my 2x2 hidden piston door in action. I showed you guys how to build it. If you guys have any questions or comments, shoot me in a message or post the comments in the comment section below. And I will get back to you guys and help you guys out any way that I can. But thanks everybody for watching. Take care everybody. Peace.